Go fast! Fast! Danger here! Nice slaughterhouse. This area is guarded by some security drones. Anything moving without a correct IFF code is a valid target for them. Help! Help door now! having some fun here. Quick, fast! No, stop! I've just picked a drone signature on the scanners. Watch out! It's getting closer! You'll have to destroy it. Be careful, it's... Just a stupid, rusted piece of crap. Bad drone! <laughs>
live! You know time. Go! He's waking up. Russell. Told you he's gonna make it. Yes, yes. The Delta 13 are hard to kill, even without our augmentations. Welcome back, Mungle Wing. This is Dr. Bielik, our local genius. He and Medibot have put you back together. Your body is working now. You can stand up and walk around a bit. Здравствуйте. Nice little lab, don't you think? Not as good as the one I used to have, but I can still do some serious work on cloning and implants. I even have a complete tool set for the power armor service here. We were doing a lot of research with Professor Wagner. I'm now trying to use the experimental results for practical solutions. From your simplified soldier's point of view, I can help you with your power armor and with your implants. Your body was already prepared for standard military implants, so inserting or exchanging implants should be simple. Most of the implants are designed to boost your efficiency, your vision, manual dexterity, strength, you name it. Right now, I have a stock of some standard implants, but I should soon have some special pieces ready for testing. Gear? Ah, you mean the power armor. Good power armor must fit the user. You can't just pick up any piece and exchange it for what you're already wearing. I used to work with experimental power armor suits before I moved on to specialize on implants. We developed several revolutionary technologies to improve the human body. Then came the dead effect discovery. The progress was accelerated, but Wagner started to use the prototypes on himself. I seek the side effects. For the reason why he went mad, I tried to keep him sane which made me a threat to his madness. I had to hide. The research took a long time. It was a shot in the dark at first. Fast cloning seemed like a discovery of the century. We found a way to quickly and efficiently create new human tissue of any type, but we couldn't make a whole functional human body. Then, Wagner found the way to jumpstart the bodies, to give them life. Raising the dead. Wagner called it the dead effect. Wagner went mad. Completely. He was paranoid and wanted to kill me. I had to run and hide. I should have done that sooner. But I thought I could keep him sane. Stop him from doing the worst. I failed. I'm rather limited here. I need access to some resources. I especially miss nanocrystals. The net uploaded the information to the map terminal. Check it there. Nanocrystals are computronium blocks, smaller than most organic cells. They're actually the basis for the dead effect. If we get enough, I could make you some really impressive enhancements. So, Doc, can you tell me something about the net? Oh, this rather sensitive question. She didn't tell you anything about herself? Just that she's another experiment. This person. I do know a bit about her. But you will have to ask her yourself. Have you found any interesting parts for the suit? Try this. Let's try 
try this. Access to your special systems. What? Is that a problem? No. The standard interface works. But the access to your abilities and special systems is locked to a single user. Annette. I'll ask her about it. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Minikin, I wanted to say thanks for, for saving me. Doctor saves. Minikin no saves. But you dragged me here, so thanks. Minikin? Hey, Minikin. Do you know something about Danette? Minikin likes. Danette nice. Danette understands Minikin. You don't talk much, do you? No. Minikin no talk. Minikin no stupid. Brain piece stupid. Makes Minikin talks stupid. So Minikin no talks. You no talks. Sorry. I understand. You feeling okay, Davis? You almost didn't make it. We didn't expect the soldiers there. You were shot up to pieces. But Minikin pulled you away and activated the jet lift. So what's your plan? We're in the middle of deep space, and there's a ton of soldiers around. I've blocked the comlinks in the ship. ESS Meridian is a giant colony ship. They're not going to find us easily without working locators. And we can start working on the takeover of the ship. You want to take over the whole goddamn ship? We were supposed to be a colonization mission, but a lot of things happened. The rest of the crew is trying to keep order and wait for the military ships that were sent from Earth. No way to talk the soldiers out of it? I'm afraid there's no way but to fight. They have strict orders, and they'll do their best. So they'll try to kill us together with other prototypes and various clones moving around the ship. When the relief squadron sent after us arrives, they'll clean the ship quickly. Dr. Yevgeny Bielik is a great surgeon and geneticist. I'm glad he decided to join us. His help could be invaluable. Soldiers have orders to arrest him, so I think we can trust him. We're still trying to heal all the damage on Minikin's brain, but he learned to live with it. He's got a workshop here and he's doing whatever he can. Talk to him. I'm currently focusing on improving our base. So I could just sit and rest? There's always something to do, looking for spares and other resources. Check the holo map. I've uploaded some of the things we need. So, you're gonna tell me something about yourself? This again? I suggest you concentrate. <sighs> but you're right. I promised I'd tell you all about me. As I already said, I'm another of Wagner's experiments. Like you, that's what we have in common. But there are differences. Not that they matter much, but... Go on. What differences? You started as an elite soldier, and Wagner tried to make you even better. A super soldier. With me, he intended to create a... super scientist, you might say. And like you, 
He treated me like shit. And I didn't like it. You're not telling me everything. Leave it for later, Gunner, okay? There's a lot on my mind now, and some of the memories aren't exactly pleasant. So I suggest you go and do what you do best. Check the map. There's a lot of work to do. Belix said you've locked access to my abilities. Well, yes, of course I had to lock access. Your neural network's barely holding up, remember? If I left access fully unlocked, there might be interference and feedback loops with implants and equipment. If Belik will need it for some upgrade later, he can just ask me. And frankly, it might be better if he doesn't have full access to your brain without my supervision. Don't you think? I think we can trust him, but... Makes sense. <laughs>